Hello and welcome to another episode of Horrid Henry Unlocked. It's Sean here, silly Sean, as he is now known in the Horrid Henry community. And I'm here with Lizzie. How are we doing, Lizzie? Hi, Sean. I'm very well. Very pleased to be here. How are you? I'm I'm very good. You're you're, you're sounding crisp. Have you been Have you been upgraded <laughs> over there? <laughs> yeah, I have indeed. I've got a proper microphone and everything. It's very exciting. Yeah, uh, it's, it's sounding very great and sounding very <laughs> posh over there. <laughs> Well, what can has I it say? been a good week full of treats? Yeah, it has been a good week. We've been doing loads of play doh this week, so my kids have been coming up with these amazing creations of, of animals and snails and uh, aliens. Just loads of these things. You, it's amazing what you can make from play doh. Do you ever play with play doh, Sean? I haven't played with play doh for a while, but I've, I really enjoyed making like weird play doh creatures. Yeah. So I, I think I think they probably a good mix of all the animals and the aliens. Yeah. That would be my go to for play doh. Yeah. You can't you can't beat a good animal out of play doh. Yeah, no, it's great. Play Doh's brilliant. Were you were you jumping in with any creations as well? Well, I had a go, but <laughs> I'm I'm afraid my my kids seem to be a bit more well just better at play doh than me but i did try you don't want to be play- you don't want to be playing play doh with people who are loads <laughs> better at play doh than you You're just looking at your sad blobby model like oh, oh, oh why aren't mine as i managed good? a snowman that was that was good <laughs> <laughs> Has there been any other arts and crafts happening this week? Uh, what else have we done? Painting? Lots of painting as well. It seems to be a week of Play-Doh and painting. I think because the weather's been a bit rainy, it's, uh, it's, it's you know, we're getting all the indoor stuff out for them to play with. That's it. Out come the art yeah. boxes. Remember when I painted everything blue? <laughs> You'd like that one, Sean. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. <laughs> How about you, Henry? What have you been up to this week? Have you been being crafty in both senses of the word? Oh, yes, I've been very busy. Actually, Henry, you did something really kind this week, didn't you? Did I? What was that then? Well, you made a video with Miss Obbod and all the teachers and everyone at Ashton about going back to school. Oh, yeah, we did. That was cool. Bit confusing, though. Yeah, I think everyone's confused at the moment. Maybe just with the sprinkling of Henry kindness confusing everyone even more. (laughs) So if you want to go and check out that video, you can see it on the Oxfordshire Kindness Wave website, which is kindnesswave.org, or you can find it on the Horrid Henry YouTube channel. We've been having a bit of a concentrating on kindness week, and Peter's also been making a kindness calendar. I like the sound of a kindness calendar. It's like an advent calendar, but, you know, not chocolates inside, just nice things. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so we started off by having a kindness count, all the little things you can do, you know, to be kind, like a big smile first thing in the morning. Yeah, I tried that with mum when I wanted to get out of my chores. Didn't work, though. I've got to say, I'm, I'm very impressed, Henry, at your attempts at this. Um, uh, I, I'm going to throw mine in. I've, I always like um, uh, just giving someone a nice little wave from the window. That's always a good one. Hmm, as long as it's not the little old lady with the dog that wheezes. <laughs> I'm sure she could do with a little wave. Or, you know, you could call someone for a surprise chat. That'd be nice. Yeah, Margaret did that when she wanted to know if we were going back to school. Oh, honestly, what a bogey brain. <laughs> Let's talk more about kindness because I'm, I'm I'm happy we're here. I'm happy we're on this road. Uh, what else did you do in uh, in your horrid homework, Henry? Oh, we got a brilliant poem from Outstanding Ollie. You can see it on Feet Up Friday on my YouTube channel. It's all about being kind. I mean, Ollie really keeps the standards up for us, doesn't he? Fair play to Ollie. Round of applause <laughs> to you. You better watch out, Henry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, and Peter wrote a poem for you too, didn't he, Henry? Yeah, the one about kind King Henry. Oh, yeah. Suppose I'm going to have to read it to you now. Well, it says on my little bit of paper, which we call in the business our script, uh, that that's what you're supposed to do now, Henry. You get a script, Sean. Absolutely. They can't trust me on this podcast unscripted. And haven't you got one? Well, obviously not. Well, you know, I, I mean, I could read the poem. I don't want to steal your thunder. But do you want to hear uh, Peter's poem, Henry? Nope. Well, guess what, Henry? You're going to read it anyway? Oh, yeah. How did I guess? Honestly, you grown-ups are so predictable. Henry, you horrid boy. Hang on a roly mo. Uh, was that was that Miss Battleaxe that I just heard there? Yes. What's she doing here? Go on, Sean, do the poem quickly so she doesn't realise I haven't done my homework. See, you're going to owe me one for this. OK, here goes. <clears throat> king Henry the Ninth is the kindest king of all. Never has there been a kinder king. Don't be horrid, 
King Henry the Ninth. Mm. Did you did you enjoy my uh, my poem voice, Henry? That's not bad actually, except for the bit about being a kinder king and the bit about not being horrid King Henry the Ninth. That just doesn't make sense. But it's clever, Henry, isn't it? Do you know why? Why? Ah, I know. It's an acrostic poem. A what poem? Isn't a poem just a poem? Ah, so acrostic, Henry, is when the first letter of each line spells a word. Oh, so you mean like King Henry the Ninth is the horridest king of all? Never has there been a more horrid king. Don't be horrid. Doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> and that spells kind. K I N D. Kind. Yeah, and I'm kind because I haven't told Peter that I've changed his poem. <laughs> well, he might know now, I think, after listening to the podcast. Anyway, thanks for covering for me, Sean, with this battle axe. No problemo. Hang on a roly mo, Sean. Uh, <laughs> yes? <laughs> Did you say hang on a roly mo just now? Yeah. Does that mean you've been watching some of my shows? Uh, maybe, but I've also thought of an end to your other poem, Henry, to make it acrostic too. Ooh, that sounds exciting. So which poem is that then? So the poem that goes, Hello, hello, it's off to school we go. Except we aren't, and we don't. Never say never, though. Rude Ralph's on the phone, yelling Henry, stay at home. Hello, hello. It's off to school we go, except we aren't and we don't. Never say never, though. Rude Rouse on the phone, yelling, Henry, stay at home. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool, Sean. Well done. Yeah, see, it has to be a Y at the end for yelling. Because that spells my name. Yes. Henry. H E N R Y. Thank you, Sean. That was a very kind thing you did. Thank you very much. Oh, Sean, guess what? I've got a couple of messages to say. Hold on, Roly Mo. We'll get to the messages later. Hmm, that sounds a bit organised. Well, it is. Uh, we can't just throw this podcast together because we're now officially eight weeks old. Now, I think we'd all agree that it's time we started behaving like we're eight weeks old. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, just a little bit more organisation. Organisation? How? I know what you mean, Sean. Like, doing things in the right place. Yeah, doing things at, you know, at a set time. So we'll do the messages at the end of the podcast. Oh, OK. So what do we do now, then? I don't know. Maybe just sit around for a bit. <gasps> Is it time for a story? I liked the singing intro. Excellent idea. Um, <laughs> do, do you want to introduce this, Henry? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Yes, I'll introduce this. <clears throat> Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then let's begin. It's not easy being me. Wash your face and brush your hair Well, nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na, 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 nay The purple hand gang rules, okay Well, it's so easy It was going to be a perfect day. Correction, it was going to be my perfect day. Mum and Dad were out all day and I was going to watch Gross Class Zero Gross Out on telly all day. Well, what could go wrong? I call this story Horrid Henry Cooks a Meal. So, there I was. I was going to be all on my own. I could do whatever I wanted. Well... You won't exactly be on your own. What? Oh, great. Mum and Dad had got us a babysitter for the day. As if I needed babysitting. I was just about to tell them that I'm not a baby and I don't need sitting on when my cousin Prissy Polly arrived. (coughs) Yeah, We're here! (laughs) Peter was delighted, of course. Hello, Polly! So, what are we going to do today, Polly? Well, I thought I'd cook a romantical meal for Paul. (laughs) Oh, goody, can I help? Of course you can, tiny chef. (laughs) Well, that's 
suited me just fine. Polly and Peter could have the kitchen all to themselves. And me? Well, I had everything I needed for a day of gross class zero's gross and most gruesome bits. Snot, bogey, fart, phew! We're all gross and so are you! Popcorn, crisps and more crisps. Thank you, Henry. <coughs> Whoa! Pimply Paul? What are you doing here? Don't call me that, shorty. I'm only here because Polly wanted a lift. Now that I am here, I'm going to watch the rugby. No! No, 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 no. Nope, you can't. Not today. This is my perfect day. I'm watching six hours of pure grossness. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Not. Am. Not. Am. Not. Am. Look, kid, I'm the grown-up round here and I'm watching the rugby. You are going to help Polly in the kitchen. Well, you know what I'm going to say to that, don't you? No! Of course, I still ended up in the kitchen with Polly. I'm so glad you've joined us, Henry. Uh, Paul made me. Of course he did. He's so sweet and thoughtful. <laughs> oh, that's why I want to make this the bestest, most romanticest dinner ever. <laughs> so, Peter, I want you to make a salad dressing and Henry, um... Mm, uh, why don't you wash the vegetables? <laughs> Ugh, vegetables. I can't touch a vegetable. I'm allergic. Oh, Henry! <laughs> what was she talking about? I meant it. I might have caught uh, vegetableitis and turned orange or green or worse. This was an evil escapade and only the evil emperor could help. I dashed out of the kitchen. and returned in full evil emperor costume, including rubber gloves and my evil emperor helmet. It wasn't easy to breathe. It wasn't easy to see. And it definitely wasn't easy to carry all those vegetables without... Spilling them all over Polly! Oops, indeed, Henry. <laughs> Clearly, domestic situations are not the evil emperor's natural habitat. I'll just go and take off my gear. <laughs> On my way back to the kitchen, I thought I'd try my luck with the TV again. And he moves over to the scrum hub and he engulfs him in a huge 4 by 4 bug hug. Luck was on my side. Well, almost. Paul was asleep, but he still had the remote in his hand. Simon Snopfall faces his most evil enemy yet, Darius Drek, with his superior secret code. But if he could just reach the PP, aka the remote control, the universe is saved! <laughs> got it! And I got you! Ah, yeah. ah! by any chance? In that kitchen now! Oh no! Now it's a full-blown diesel weasel! Back in the kitchen, a warm welcome awaited me. Not. Henry, you're just in time to see my latest culinary creation. Oh, you are clever, tiny chef. <laughs> Polly asked me to decorate the vegetables when they were cooked. Let's see what you've done then, Peter. <laughs> Presenting the veggie animals. Oh, what have you done? I carved the vegetables into little animals. I can see that, but Peter, I'm a vegetarian. Why would I want to eat vegetables in the shape of animals, huh? Why would you want to eat vegetables at all? 
Thank you, Henry. Now, we must get on. We're a little teensy-weensy bit behind. And the quicker I get the meal finished, the quicker I can tear my poorly pops away from that telly. <laughs> hmm, that sounds like a good idea. Now then, the soup's in there and it needs to be mixed for five seconds. I could help with that. If it gets pulled away from my telly, can't be that difficult. Where's the on button? Five seconds. Here we go. Ah! Ah! Where'd the soup go? <laughs> it wasn't my fault that the soup landed all over Polly and stuck in her hair and dripped off the end of her nose. I did tell her I was only trying to help. I know you were. Now, get it out! <laughs> Oh dear. Oh well. Maybe the rugby had finished and I could get back to what was left of my perfect day. Oh, it's so exciting I can't see anything. Exciting game? The scores are tied. Can I watch Gross Class Breakout now? No! Go on, my son. You can do it. You can do it. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Time for a bit of TV remote action, I reckon. I could just reach it. What? What? No! What's happened? Could be a fuse. Where's the fuse box? Right at the back of the cupboard under the stairs. Oh! <laughs> that should keep Paul busy for a... Oh, he's back. <sighs> Kitchen? Kitchen. Hey, Worm. Henry, please, now really isn't the time. <laughs> I'm doing pancakes. Polly's letting me toss them. But I'm really good at tossing pancakes. Give that to me. <laughs> That's mine. <sighs> Smell smoke. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Henry, what? <laughs> uh, are you okay, Polly? <laughs> no. No. I'm not okay. <laughs> it's ruined. <laughs> My perfectest, most romantical dinner ever is ruined. All I ever wanted was to make Polly Pops happy. And now it's ruined. <laughs> um. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. <laughs> uh oh, not good. I'm about to get worse. Right, you're going to make me a dinner that I'll never forget. Now! Uh, Alright, so that's what I did. I made dinner right then. But you can't cook. I'm going to call for a pizza. But this dinner is meant to be all romantical and special. You can't just order a pizza. Watch me, worm. Don't call me worm. As soon as the pizza arrived, I got to work. I wasn't going to see those vegetables go to waste, or worse still, end up having to eat them myself. It's surprising, really, what you can do with slices of courgette, carrot and cucumber and a pizza. Finished. Romantic dinner's ready! Polly was well impressed, if I say so myself. <laughs> oh, how romantical! <laughs> Paul wasn't quite so convinced. He said, better be special, Henry. Oh, it is! Lady and gentleman, I give you the Henry Deluxe! Oh, I see. 
say. <laughs> How romantical. <laughs> Cool enough to keep them busy <laughs> while I tune into You've Guessed It, My Perfect Day! Yeah! Snot, bogey, fart, you! We're all gross and so are you! So I thought I'd let the music run on for a bit there, Henry, because I love that song. And an excellent story, Henry. You are a cheeky little chef, if you don't mind me saying so. And I hear that you've inspired a certain cheeky bit of chefing, horrid homework too. Well, rumour has it that Prissy Polly's doing the homework. It's true. Polly Put the Porridge On, it's called, and it's all about cooking the perfect meal. Is it time for the messages now, Sean? I reckon so, don't you? OK, here goes. Well, go on then. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to count me in, Sean. Why, why do we need you? Why do you need me to count you in? <sighs> My way or the highway, Sean? We're not, on the, we're not on the pyramid stage of Glastonbury here, Henry. So, three, two, one, go. So, Ashley wrote to us and suggested that we could make a character called Hygienic Harry for a hygiene special. That's that is a good idea. I enjoy that character idea. Oh, and you had a question from Brilliant Benjamin too, didn't you, Henry? Oh yes. Ask away, Benjamin. Do you want another pet other than your pet hamster? Good question, Benjamin. I don't think I do, though, because Fang is just the best. And what's the worst trick you've ever played on someone? I'm not going to tell you on this podcast, because you never know who's listening. Henry, you horrid boy. Quick, Sean, tell everyone where to find us. Right, so you can find Horrid Henry in all the other avenues of cyberspace by using the hashtag Horrid Henry Unlocked or plain old Hashtag Horrid Henry. That's how you can find us on Twitter and Instagram. Also, you can find us on Facebook as well by searching for Horrid Henry. And remember as well to be subscribing to the podcast channel so you do not miss an episode of Horrid Henry Unlocked. And also to find your Horrid Henry homework, you can go to horridhenry.me. I think I got everything there, didn't I, Henry? You know, you'd think everyone would know that by now, wouldn't you? Now that we're eight weeks old. Well, when we get to ten, I'll uh, I'll bring some cake. <laughs> deal. And I'll bring slime. I mean, that sounds less delicious, but sure, deal. Well, that's it for this week's Horrid Henry Unlocked. Remember to smash that subscribe button and also leave us a little cheeky five-star review. And also make sure to stay safe and stay in touch. Stay safe and stay in touch. Yeah, stay safe and stay in touch. Bye. Thanks for not asking about the Natter Jack, Sean. No problem, eh, dude. Thanks for not asking me if I've seen all your episodes yet. That's okay. Have you, though? Have you seen all my episodes yet, Sean? Don't, Don't be, be horrid, horrid Henry. Henry.